That's right, everybody. It is Saturday night. It is three men in the basement. CGC unboxing. It's your boy Everett Otto. Roger Levesque. Thanks part, for joining us. Part two of the Baltimore Comic Con CGC unboxing. Stay tuned because we're coming up next. Banded together from remote galaxies are 13 of the most sinister villains of all time. The Legion of Doom. Dedicated to a single objective, the conquest of the universe. Only one group dares to challenge this intergalactic threat. <laughs> I always do that. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. I'm sorry. That's I do right. it all the time. That's all right. it all the time. We're going to get some light out here. I want to light uh, be a Roger out here. What's up, everybody? Saturday night. We are ready to go. We have got CGC books. We've got mail calls. We've got lots of stuff. And more importantly, we got time to talk to all you guys about comics and all things geek and unique. So very, so thank you very much for Day joining the us. the Cave. TiVo's on. Yeah. Man from Bean Town. Uh, so we got a bunch Gorgon of people on. So we got really Rod. All right. There we go. All right. So we're getting some people on. We're going to hang out. So one big box. Dark Side Jedi. Don't let me forget you. Yeah. One big box from Baltimore. From Baltimore, yeah. Two I... boxes from Terrificon. Okay. And one mail, uh, one mail call. Okay. Okay. Well, so we, we got, got three boxes stuff. there. So. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> We're that's one a, box short, according to a, your math. That's a We're problem. One box so we need to check it out. So um, I've got, guys, I've got one book, and the rest are Everett's. Yeah. So <laughs> we, uh, we are off the heels of the Baltimore Comic Con. Uh, first time I've ever been there, and it's very funny because I was going back through some pictures. I was looking for an old picture of uh, Joe Sinnott, and Roger is very good at keeping pictures on Facebook. So I went back to his first con, which was uh, Rhode Island. Rhode Island, yeah. And that, I don't forget what year. I think Providence. It was, Providence. It was like 2014. And you were like, my first time, but not my last time, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that is definitely the way I feel about Baltimore. Baltimore was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, what was so fun about it was it was very comic book heavy and not actor heavy, not movie star heavy. Right. Which is not, what we want. I mean, right, exactly. it's, it's neat to go there and see the people, but yeah. I don't think many of us wait in line to have actors Yes. Sign. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, very fun story. While we got some people online right now, we got Gorilla God, we got Ch Chad RGC, we got Matt Forge, we got Rag 718. So, I want to tell you a very Com funny story. Mr. Comics 89, yep. E-Rod. Yep. Oh, everybody. So, I want to tell you a very My funny story. In the house. I got a good story. So, okay. end of the day, on Saturday, I mean, we're spent. I'm walking around, and this dude comes up to me. He's like, hey, man, I know you. And I'm like, I bet you do. <laughs> I don't know you. So we start talking. Good pick up line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we start talking. We're going back and forth. I'm like, this dude definitely has knowledge. And then I'm like, all right. A couple minutes later, he's like, so what's up with three men in the basement? I'm like, all right. So he watches it. And I'm like, dude, I don't know your name, man. And it was Rag718, right? All right. Who's a good good supporter of the show, good follower. And man, we kicked it for like 25 minutes. And he's not insulted, I'm sure. I no, mean, not at all. People, not at we all. know each other from the IG community and YouTube and right. stuff, but we don't really see each other's faces. Exactly, exactly. So at the end of the, so I chopped it up with him for like 25 minutes, man. Good stories. Okay. Great guy. Awesome. Great guy awesome. uh, from the DC area. Told Sorry, him to come I missed up to, it. Yeah, told him to come up to Terrificon, show, us, uh, show up with us, hang out with us. I'll show him a great time. And that goes for anybody. Please understand that Terrific Con is our backyard. We know Mohegan Sun pretty well. That's our that's our con. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all about the after hours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, so when we do that, we uh so that's our backyard. So we want you to show up if you can. You know, when I told Rags to come up and stuff like that. But at the end, I'm like, dude, let's get a selfie. It's like, no, man, I'm gonna keep my stuff off IG. So I definitely believe that. You know what I mean? So Rag, it was great meeting you, man. Thank you very much for all the support uh, that you've shown us. And we met a bunch of other guys. Um, and those guys were the NY, uh, not the NY, I apologize. We did see the NY Warriors because we had, um, uh, we had Erod there. So it was yeah. great to finally meet Erod in person. And while we were there, we hooked up with a bunch of dudes from the Comic Fiend Club, Eight Jedi, Bataholic. Nice. Um, God, it was so many dudes. I can't even remember their names. Uh, Mike, I got this, who hooked up a stream under basement. So thank you very much, Mike. I under, underscore got underscore this. Thank you very much. For what you did for us, and then the Comic Core, they had their booth set up, man, and they were just so cool. The great legend. I think we're having a problem with our audio. Okay. It says it sounds like the webcam is picking up the audio instead of the microphone. All right. Let's eh. take a look. Thank you, Tivo. I want to uh, shout out to Mister Comics eighty nine. Says he had a tough day. It was supposed to be his day off, and he was looking forward to the show. That's great, man. Thanks for the. Uh, thanks for the. Uh, 
compliment. Yes, absolutely. That's what we're all about, man. We've been putting like Roger and I, you know, uh, we do a lot of things in town and it's definitely been stressing us out this past week. We had a real rough week as far as what we volunteer for, but to be here on a Saturday night um, to switch it up with you guys is very cool. So I just changed the audio. So uh, yes, Efren, my boy E, what's up, my boy? Yes, Hawk and Dove, very underrated. That was one of the pickups, uh, but I want to get back to the Comic Fiend Club, the Comic Corps, Comic Corps. They were really cool. Uh, got to meet all those guys from there. Uh, Superman Comics, Battleholic, like I said, the great legend. Uh, Chad, and you guys opened up your booth to us. We had some killer shows. We had this oddball come up and start hugging Dave from the cave. And then he was like kind of touching me and like and somebody in the somebody in the comment was like, dude, you should have knocked the guy out. I'm like, trust me, if his hands moved anymore. He was definitely going to get, you know, knocked out. So is the uh, microphone switched up a little bit? Need not say said, or maybe just no, need to I turn just the game. It up, so um, we'll move the mic closer. Can't Let's get much closer. I'm on top of it, so yeah, so. it's either wrong or uh... yeah, no. So we got it all hooked up. All right. Um, let me see. Yeah, that's what we got. Uh, advanced audio USB. Turned up the game a little bit. Yeah. All right. So we got to shout. We'll shout. You know. So, yeah, who was that guy? Dave, I don't know, but he liked you, man. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's not the link. It's right. not the link. It's not the link. So, shout out to all those guys uh, that we met. It was just a great time, and we are uh, we are ready to go with some books. So, for those of you guys who don't know, we just recently had our Three Men in a Basement. Shout out to uh, Mikey Sutton for setting us up and TiVo for making it happen. We had Kevin Van Hook on our show, who was a co-creator of Bloodshot, um, and it was just a phenomenal show. It was a lot of fun. He was very knowledgeable. He told us a lot of certain things about comic books, about the movie, and everything that he could share, okay? So Bloodshot, the first appearance is Eternal Warrior, 13, I think. And then, you know, that's a, for, and then it's ride number one. So it's first full, first, you know, it's a 181, uh, 180 Hulk issue. Right. But Bloodshot number one was the first Chromium cover, okay? Okay. So if you haven't watched our show with Bloodshot uh, about that, please watch that because it goes in detail about the chromium covers and how they created it and how they were the first to have it really and to craft it to do it but they only had the license for six months so after valiant had it for six months image was able to do it marvel was able to do it but they were the people that made it work and made it happen and kevin was very instrumental in that so immediately i got off because i'm like you know what i mean i like bloodshot a lot it was one of my favorite valiant characters um and i also thought that you know what a chromium character is cool a chromium book is cool but more importantly if i can get a nine eight for under a hundred dollars that's what we've been talking about, right? Yeah, sure. We definitely have been talking about um, nine eights and you know how you can get it. You know, to get a raw one to send it in, a modern. You wait, do the shipping and stuff like that to get it back. You're just you're better off, you yeah. know. So we got a nine eight in that box. Oh, so yeah? we know that it's a nine eight. So you are not going to get a karate chop. All right, but we will be yeah. able to see it. The um, official CGC unboxing. That's night. right. That's right. Um, just so you guys are watching right now, while Roger's doing this, this was a hawk and dove. Obviously, you see first appearance. 7.5 Ditko. Justin found it. Guy wanted 115 bucks. I said, what about 100? He goes, here, here you go. So I'm a huge Ditko fan, as we know. And um, that's why I picked it up. So now I'm working on my Titans. I'm loving Titans on uh, DC streaming. I'm really enjoying it, especially the Hawk and Dove cover. All right. So this is no bones about it. Oh, yeah. So this is not a rag, but I this, know it is. This was an eBay purchase? This was an eBay purchase. Right after our show got That's off. That's good stuff right there. Yeah. For under 100. You know, we'll actually take that out of the wrapper right there. You know what? And like I said, for what you're going to go with and uh, what um, perfect right there. Yeah. So beautiful book. I mean, mine that I bought when it first came out, it's dinged up. So it's not even used to it. Not even yeah. worth it. And with the Chromium, to dig through other books, um, you know, and long boxes and stuff like that, it wasn't worth it. So, yeah. you know what? We talk about this on Lords of the Long Box. We talk about this yeah, on Sometimes Three it's Basement. just worth spending the money on a 9 8. Right. And guarantee. Trying to spread, guarantee. Right. And so what happens? Spending the money, saving 40 bucks, and you get a 9 4 or 9 6. With off white pages. Off white pages, right? <laughs> right. Absolutely. So, I mean, we just uh, talked about that. I just got a book back from the New York Comic Con. I pre bought the uh, Shy ASM 300 cover swipe, and I bought two copies. And they're they're both dinged up a little bit. I'm yeah, like, right. I'm like I'm not even 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 if they were nice, I'm probably better off finding an eBay nine point eight instead right. of trying to submit these things and getting disappointed like I always do. Yeah, well, I mean you do have a lot of, a lot of disappointment. So, <laughs> um, so working on the audio, you guys uh, try to make it work, but 
don't really know sometimes you know things just don't go your way trains go east trains go west so yes a nine eight but you're not gonna get karate chop but i do want to talk about justin's show last night did you watch number oh, yeah, david yeah. yes you did a lot of the guys so many guys that watch it are in here tonight so which was very funny was uh he said if his ba12 comes back at nine eight he's gonna flip his table flip his table we need a table flip yeah we need a table flip no, no he said no he said if it was a nine nine yeah, if it was a 9-9. Oh, was, nine, it, nine. was okay. it that one? Maybe it was a different one that he said that about. Okay. no. Early, that earlier point? in the show, he said yes. if, if it was a 9-9, he would table flip. So when he yeah, gets he, to Batman Adventures 12, yeah. we I wrote on there, if it's a 9-8, you better flip that correct, table. Correct. <laughs> so when I called him this morning just to say good job and it was a good show, um, I really wanted to say, hey, dude, you've got to buy a table and you've got to figure out when you're going to flip it, yeah. right? Because you got to, you know, if I have the karate chop, you have the neck chop, you know, we need a table flip. So. Um, I'm dividing by a facsimile AFF 598 instead of sending my copies to... Yeah, it'd probably be cheaper. Yeah. It'd be cheaper to buy it at 98 than, than what you're going to pay for shipping and everything. Yeah. Um, so it was funny. David and Cave goes, controlled violence. Right, which was good. <laughs> which was good. All right. So let's get one of... Let's get going with this. Right. You guys got stuff to do. Roger's got a football game to watch. All right. So this, So I have two books back from CGC. And these are both big books. Um, well, these are not Baltimore these books? These are not Baltimore. These were from Terrificon. If you remember, I bought an ASM-2 from our boy, from my boy Walt, uh, at a very, very good price. But it came back a 4-0. Um, restored? Restored. Resto. Okay? It came back a 4-0 Resto. So I went to CGC at Terrificon. And had I paid for the money to have the Resto removed. When I paid to have the resto removed, I said, okay, what's it going to come back at? When I was with Dennis for Comics, he could definitely see where it was. And where it was was in the building. I think there was a little bit of a pen. So now about this book. If it comes back a 2.5, I'm flush and I'm okay. If it comes back a 3.5 or a 3.0, I'm definitely financially better than that. Um, so, But I also have an FF number five, the first appearance of Doom. In one of these boxes also. So, Roger, what book is this right here? This is, yeah, FF5. Okay. So, now, this book I, I bought from Dennis again for comics. And I bought it because I wanted to have Joe Sinnott sign it at Terrificon. So, I cracked it, and then he canceled. The good news is, is I had it pressed. And initially, it was 3-5 uh, cream to off-white pages. I don't think the page quality is going to change. But I don't want it to come back any lower than 3.5, okay? The book has seen better days, and I really don't know what I'm getting into. This was a collector's faux pas. I screwed up. You know what okay. I mean? I jumped the gun on it. Yeah. I wanted to get pressed. Joe Sinnott was not there. And they're trying to meet Joe Sinnott again has been like, you know, Ahab's whale, all right? So, Roger, without further ado. So you're happy with a? I'm happy with a 3.5 because that was a push. If it's a 3.0, oh, I'm disappointed. I don't know what to say, you know? So, 3.5. 3.5, okay. So, Nothing gained, nothing. I don't lost. know what to say. Nothing lost. Uh, so Other the three some cash to <laughs> yes, exactly. Slab it, right? But I'll, you know, like I said, I'll chalk that up to mistakes because I make a lot of mistakes that I pay money for. So, um, so I'm happy to finally have this book back, finally to have it back in the house, and more importantly, I'm happy that it has not dropped in a grade. All right, so FF, but you know what? I did pick up oh, another, I got another box. Yes, I got another box. you found another, it's like Christmas, yeah. It's like Christmas at the Levesque. Yeah. Kids ex and 15, 16 grandkids. Yeah. So this is, so thanks, Ben. You're right. Three, five. I'll take it all day. Now it's back. But I did buy a slab stand from Slab Stands with the Doom on it. And right now I've kind of been in this Doom, doom mode as far as villains and stuff like that. Obviously, one of my top three uh, um, Marvel villains. So, Roger, this is the big book right now. So this is what we're going to find out what's going on right here. And I want to give a shout out. We got Erod. E Rod, you'll get it eventually, man. Uh, Randy Sloan, take off the panties. I know. Take it out of the plastic. I'm going to show it again, though. This is a great book. Man, so I, very funny story. So, very Gary told me that Joe Sinnott is going to be at a local con up here in the Northeast. Okay? Poughkeepsie, New York. Poughkeepsie, New York, from where I am in Connecticut, 90 minutes away. A quick drive. Okay? Coincidentally, my wife is out of town with my oldest. I have two other kids that all belong in sports all day long. So I was full on going to go first thing in the morning, go to this mall because that's where he was. It's a, it was a free con with Joe Sinnott because he's from the upstate area. 
And I was going to go and I was going to have him try to do a sketch on one of my um, prints. And I was going to get him to sign the reprint of this and maybe do a head sketch is what I really liked. Because I do talk to his handler and he's a nice guy and we have a great conversation. So I was all set to come in. Now, Mike, on the other hand, from IG, Mike the Butcher, yeah. uh, I forgot what the rest of his handle was, but he's a big supporter of the show. He's like, I'm going up there too. Perfect. But I'm telling you what, I got to fly up there. I got to drive 90 minutes. I got to get this signed and I got to fly back because I got to pick the kids up before practice. So that was my day today. In the meantime, I text very Gary, and this is typical auto, you guys. And if you talk to Roger, if you talk to TiVo, if you talk to Justin, my brain is always in hyper mode, and I'm always one step ahead of myself, and I miss the big details. <coughs> I miss the small details. I'm a big detail guy. So message goes out to Gary and Mike. Hey, I'm coming up, guys. Da -da -da -da. Should I meet you? Can we meet and hang out? He goes, you're coming up on Saturday. The show's on Sunday. <laughs> you meatball. So... <laughs> The show would have been on and the show is Sunday. It's good that you texted him. Correct. He would have showed up at this mall. Yes, nobody would have been nobody there. Would have been nobody there. would have been there. At least I would have got home on time, three hours in the car. Yeah. So I'm not going to beat Joe Sinnott because my son has his championship football game. My daughter's cheerleading. I'm not going. So not that I can do about it. Oh well. But you know what? I'm happy that I threw that out there. Okay. <laughs> so that's what happened in the world of auto. So now let's move on to the ASM. Now, I have never, ever sent a book back for resto removal. So this was the first time for Otto. This was the first time I got a book with resto. Um, so I honestly don't know what to expect. I don't know how they peeled the did, resto off. Did you off. take a picture of this, of the cover, to see if we can see where the resto was removed? Yes. Well, I have an old picture on IG, okay, because okay. I have it on IG. So we'll have to look for it. Can you see it? I'm trying so hard not to look, you guys. Can you see where the resto is? I'm not looking. All right. All right. So without I, tell, I didn't see the old one. I mean, right. I saw the old one, but I don't. You'd have to compare the pictures. Yeah. Um, all right. So what's you're. Number? It was a resto. What number? It was. It was a resto four zero. Okay. Okay. It was a resto four zero. So again, two five. I'm financially flush for investment purposes. Three zero three five four point zero. I'm above the par on it. It is ASM two. It's my oldest Spider Man book. What am I getting, Roger? 3.0. 3.0. Okay. So we dropped a full grade. Uh, but that stupid, ugly, purple label is gone. Yes. But the, stu <laughs> yes, the stupid, ugly, purple <laughs> label is gone. But again, this book has seen better days. Um, this is one of your old books or was it a purchase? This like, was a purchase from Art. Okay. Uh, from my eye opener, my LCS. And I'll tell you, Art gave me such a good deal. The fact that Art is... They want to know if it's for sale. No, NFS, dude. <laughs> NFS. This is for the PC, you know? So, well, actually, if, well, anyway, anyway. Make an offer. <laughs> Everything's for sale. They could go really south. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I put the work into it. Um, that's where it is. And, okay. I mean, it's not a 2.5. It's a 3.0. It's a solid book. Right. Very happy to have it. The purple label of death is gone. Where they took the resto out, I don't know. I don't know if anybody. I'm anxious is... to look at both pictures. We'll look at that right. later. See if we can do a comparison uh, side by side and figure out. Yes, I agree with Matt you said, Forge. You said four comics told, gave you an idea where it was. So yeah, you, right. You think you know. I, I think I know what it. It has to do with where we're in the buildings, and I think just because. Yeah, I can see it right there. See that? Get out of here! No, I can't. I swear to God, I swear to God, right there, because that should be all black. Yeah. Okay, so right there in the that building, next to my fat thumb, oh my god, I almost dropped it, uh, is where it is, like right up here, right, and the guy like chipped it off, so uh, that's what it is, so two big books, three, three, five, you know, what are you going to do? You know, they're big keys, and this is my earliest, earliest Spider-Man book, all um, right, so sure. now we've got the big, big box oh, from Nemesis Prod, all right, so I got one book in here. Yep. All right, so the ones all in back here are all yours. So you know what's in here, and you want to just want to start pulling them out, and you just tell I'll me tell what, it what it is. Tell so me what it is. is. Secret War is one. Okay, three of them. Um, two of them will be for sale. If there's one nine eight, I hope so. If there's one nine eight, I'm going to keep the nine eight. The other two will be for sale. I bought the three of these for investment purposes. We, even though this is not the true Secret Wars that we talk about um, on Lords of Long Boxes for a spec book. You have four of them. I do. Oh, no. Okay. My bad. No, all right. All so right. anyway, so this is the first Secret Wars, number one. Roger, what am I looking at? All right. So you just want to pull this one? This is on-site grading. All right. First one's 9.4. 9.4. Okay. 
Now that's number yeah. one down. Now these are books that you bought. I bought these raw, uh, brought them to on-site grading because I feel that you get a little bit of a bump with on with on-site grading. Uh, first nine four, okay, is what it is. White pages, Secret Wars, Modern. We'll move on from that. That book is for sale. Okay. All right. Next Secret Wars one. All right. Let's go. Nine point six. Nine point six. We're creeping up. All right. We're creeping up. So we got a nine six for sale. And Secret Wars one. Yeah. All right. 8.5. Oh, my Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, sure those aren't my Christ. Books? I know. Oh my God. Did you switch these books on me? Well, wow, talk about the disappointment train. I was. I thought you guys were going to get a 9.8 chop. I really wanted a 9.8 chop out of this. So I guess I'm going to sell them all if anybody wants them. I mean, <laughs> I, hate to, I don't mean to say it that way, but, you know, uh, I'm kind of linear and stuff like that. Maybe I'll keep one and try to upgrade. So, yeah, if next to 4,000, that hurts. Uh, can't see the books at all too much. All right, so I'll just show them to you. So if you want to see a Secret Wars 8.5, Secret Wars, sorry, guys, 9.6 right there, and Secret Wars 9.4. Man, I'll tell you, when I was talking to Erod about this, he was like, dude, one of them was definitely a 9.8 candidate, so I got my hopes up. So 9.4. So three, three Secret Wars. Any interest, hit me up on Instagram, Everett underscore Otto. Roger is working hard Savage right now. Savage She-Hulk number one. Okay. Now, I don't expect this book to come back high grade. I'm hoping an 8.5. I bought this book because now I have one for the collection. I can't believe I haven't owned this book in Otto's comic book collection. Uh, this is my intro book only because it's blowing up. I will take this book and ultimately try to trade up for uh, a 9.8, or I'll see what I can do with it. But... And an eight five, I think that's where I kind of want to be. I think that's where the book is, and that's where I paid for it raw. So what am I looking at, Roger? Eight five. Eight five. So dead on. Oh. And shout out to the person I forgot who the seller was. That's where about they bookmarked it. That's what I paid for it. So, but you know what? I'm an eight five guy. This is my first book into this, so um, I'm I'm okay with it. But you know what though? On site grading hasn't done me well yet. No. No on site grading. You know, like last year I did phenomenal. This year, I'm like four pump chumping it, man. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> so, all, right. all right. Uncanny X Men 142. Ooh, we got to get 141. Uh, uh, 141. We'll do 141 first. first. Uh, okay. 141. So these books are uh, X Men 141, 142. We all know the story. Classic Days of Future Past. The story of Days of Future Past. Huge fan of it. I bought them both for my LCS. Um, I do have the raw copies in the personal collection. I want these books together and linear. Obviously, 141 is the most ex more expensive of the book. Uh, it's a great cover. We all know the cover with everybody apprehended or dead except for Wolverine. Um, and we are just at sold in 9.8. I know he did. Unbelievable. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, high nines, eight fives, I'll be okay with. I mean, it seems to be the theme right now. So uh, anything 9.2, 9.4, I'm happy with. But I got to get them lit here. So this is a crapshoot right now. All right. What am I looking at? Eight five. Eight five. Son of a biscuit. Damn. Yeah, I'm telling you. Maybe my eyes, you know. Maybe the readers Maybe aren't I'm touching doing me well. I know. It's like switching. Yeah, but I didn't touch so, those before they went out. No, you definitely <laughs> didn't. So I can't believe it. So 8.5. Um, and actually, on my last three men in the basement auction, I sold the 8.5, 142. So, all right, we'll just go up the ladder. We'll see what the next one is. Now, yeah, you sold one now it's linear. Right? Yeah, I know. It wasn't linear. I know, but I didn't know that. I thought these books uh, would come back a little higher. 142. Man. 142. If 8.5, if it's a linear pair, I'll be happy. If it's 8.0, I'm unhappy. What do we got? Nine four. Nine four. Okay, so now, jeez, that's funny. Nine four. So I knew I was right. Close. I knew I was right with one of the nines. So this is the nine four. That's the eight five. Do I buy down, sell this to go to eight five, or take the eight five and trade up? What do you guys think in the live chat? Yeah. I am a real man from Bean Town. Just said I'm walking a mile in your shoes right now. Hmm. I really am. So, all right. All right. So now we have Amazing Spider Man 124. Ooh, good book right here. Good book right here. Uh, this was, I, I actually screwed up this label. This is the first Man Wolf, first and second appearance of Man Wolf, a book that we spec'd on on Lords of the Long Box. For some reason, I didn't put this, uh, this in on time. And when I went for the new invoice, the Spider Man logo popped up. So I did bite the bullet because this is a pair of books that you should have together. 
Definitely Spider-Man bronze books. Definitely minor keys, but if he makes it to the big screen, it could only be better. Classic cover of Man Wolf coming through. John Romita cover. J. Jordan Jameson in the corner, like doing the Drake. So um, <laughs> I'm hoping high, but I'm telling you, I'm not after seeing this eight five. I'm thinking eight five or up. I mean, anything less, dude. I'm throwing up in 9. my mouth. 0. All right, I'll take the nine zero with the Spider-Man label. With the Spider-Man label, check that out. Yeah. All right. So yeah, nine zero. Our last unboxing, I got one. Spider-Man label. Pretty happy with that. This is going to go to the PC. Um, again, Spider-Man keys are something I've been working on for the past year to two years. So, you know, trying to get all those villains and characters. All right. Main Spider-Man 125. Okay. Same thing. What do we need? 9-2. 9-2. Okay. All right. So we got a 9-0, 9-2. Nothing quite linear at this point. <laughs> Actually, I got a lot of... You know, this is causing me more problems. <laughs> because I gotta like now I gotta move for the linear stuff. So I'm really trying to kill the glare guys, but uh, there we go. All right, night two. All right, so now we're at Amazing Spider-Man number four. Oh, 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 time out. This is big right here. So Amazing Spider-Man 4, Ditko cover, panel cover, first Sandman. Bought this on IG a year and a half ago. It was a two. A two, two. a two, two. I bought the greater notes. It was just like dirty, you know, creases, da, da, da. There was no way that this book said it was a two. However, the way however. my however, the day the way my day is going, it very well come back at two. Who knows? But at a two, and I got it for a good price at a two. Shout out to I forgot who I bought it from on IG, but it was definitely another IG purchase. And anything above a two, man, I could be a three five, but this is a key Spider-Man book. It's number four. So drop the hammer. What are we looking at? Three five. Three five. Look yeah. at that. I'm telling good you, man, you got five for that. Man. For you, man. That was a good That's move, great. Otto. Good for Otto. So here you go. This was, a, you know, like I said, found it on IG. It was a two, pressed and cleaned. Um, I, uh, I think Pat Ray did it up. Came back at three five. I'd love to see the That's numbers tough. between a two and a three five. I'd love to see the bump on that. Well, sure and again, this is that. one of my favorite Ditko covers. Another early Spider-Man book with Spider-Man number four. So, um, yeah, Erod, I'm telling you, man. E, did you press this? I'm pretty sure. I think it was E that did it. So, but again, yeah. So I think it was E that actually uh, did the work on this. So yeah, so 3.5 red cover classic. Uh, Spider-Man key for my collection. I'm just, like I said, keep working on them. The stack is growing. All right. Tales of Suspense 57. Oh. First Hawkeye. First right? Hawkeye. Good book. Pick this up at my friend's, uh, actually at a collectibles and pawn shop. From my boy Fred Carter. Every book has a story. Every story has a book. I uh, had it raw. Sent it to Erod. Thought it was pretty good. Uh, but again, it's a white cover. We all know it. Uh, maybe for sale. It is a second copy. Um, but it could be anywhere from a 5 to 7. And for the price I paid for it, anywhere from a 5 to 7, I'm definitely flush with it. So what are we looking at, Raj? 5.0. 5 okay. But I like 5s. I like 5 for the keys. So 5 like I said, it could be anywhere from that. And just another cool book to have. Hawkeye, all the different colors, um, off-white to white. Who's getting credit on this? Stan Lee, Larry Lieber, Don Heck did the cover, first appearance of Hawkeye. Clint Barton, Black Widow makes an appearance. So, yeah. Yeah, it could be anywhere from a 3-0 to a 9-6. All right. So got uh, this book. X-Men right. number nine. Ooh, okay. So I got two copies of this. One is for the PC, one is for sale. Um, one I bought a while ago, higher grade than the other one, but the other one I bought from Art at, at my little honey hole. But Erod worked on this, man. The second one, he did work on. So I would like to think, though, that my eye is better. So the higher grade is the one, but he pressed them both. So Erod did the work. So let's see what we got. I can't even tell you. 6.0. All right, 6.0. Nice, nice book. First time the Avengers and the X-Men met up. Classic Stan Lee, great cover, solid six, trying to get my early X-Men, maybe one through 12, and then like the important keys all slabbed up, but good book, good book. All second right. Second number nine. Second number nine. Four and a half. Four or five. All right. That's what I thought. So the second one is a four or five. The four or five is for sale. If anybody is interested, hit me up, Everett underscore Otto on Instagram. Um, I'll, we'll look at GPA and we'll figure it out. But two of the key books, maybe I'll keep it for multiple comics Monday, but you know, Two great, um, two, you know, an X-Men book that 
you know, no short and having two of, but you can definitely see the difference in the four or five. But I really think the four or five was like, like a three zero before Erod did his magic on it. So okay. Right, so House of Secrets ninety two. Ooh, big book right here. First Swamp Thing, a book I necessarily wasn't looking for, but a book that I'm not going to pass up because I'm all about the so older stuff that's hard to find. Brave and the Bull twenty eight, House of Secrets. Um, Bernie writes in story. I actually read the book. Very interesting. Louis Simonson was the model for the cover. We all know that. And uh, I bought it from JNS Collectibles for the price. I'm thinking somewhere. I showed it at Terrificon. So 3.5, could be a 3.5, 4.0, I'm happy about it. I'm positive. I'm thinking good on it. 5.0, I'm pretty ecstatic because I like these keys in 5. So what do I got, Raj? 3.5. 3.5. That's exactly what I paid for it. Okay. So 3.5. This book came out. It's actually my birthday, 71. Uh, first appearance of Swamp Thing. Uh, Len Wine. Oh, really? Virgil North Stories. LOS, Tony. Bernie writes into the cover and art. So... Three five, so nothing too surprising right now, with all the pulls. Um, one book go? left. There's one book left. I'll take it. I like the way you figured that out. We got through that. Well, luckily I saw the issue number first. Yeah, I was able to cover the the grade before I saw what it was. All right, it was so in the front. Every story, every book yeah. has a story. So, so I got this book. I don't. I haven't. I haven't seen this book in forever. I sent it out probably last year with a bunch of moderns. With one of the times Justin uh, Nemesis Prime was up here, handed it to him. Turns out he uh, thought it needed a press, <coughs> and it wasn't modern. I said, just hold on to it, press it, clean it for me. I uh, ended up submitting it at Baltimore Comic Con for me. It's uh, Amazing Spider Man one thirty four first yep. tarantula spec yep. book spec book that don't you like. Hating, don't be hating on a tarantula. Yep. And I actually, I had a copy, and a year and a half ago, I was in D.C. hanging out with uh, Captain America, Angel. Shout out to Angel down in D.C. He brought me to a little LCS of his. Uh, I found it. It was in better condition than mine. Grabbed it. And I don't know. I, I just, I like tarantulas. So. It's a great cover. I, but I, I have no, I've, I really, I mean, and there's, there's been swipes, you know, like uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number one, I think, is a cover swipe of her. I, have, I haven't seen it forever. I don't know. I can only imagine what it is. I, I think that if it's less than an 8.0, I might throw it across the fucking No, no, no. I'm no, telling no. you. I might take your lights out. If we, go cold, if we go cold and dark, you're going to know. Right. All right. So, it's a nice book. Nice right cover. So, the good news is you're not throwing this book. You got an email. Right. Nice right. book for your collection. Nice wrap. Cool book to have. Really good Love book it. to have. Yep. I don't actually I don't own that book. Yeah. I so. have a raw one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. Oh really? Multiple yeah. comics. You yeah, know. what are you gonna do? Yeah. So all right, I'm not disappointed. I, I, I really it's one of these books that I haven't seen it in so long. I couldn't have told you what it was, but I knew it was definitely up in the eight yeah. range in the eight range somewhere. Right, so right. Uh, I was hoping an eight five, but like eight oh is better than a seven yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take it out of this. Let's see. But I got a cool. why I got a special bag. I know, pretty fancy bag, You're a man. Fancy guy right there. There we go. That's they're nice like, they're like, we keep screwing this guy. Let's give him a fancy bag. Yeah. All right. Cool book. Glad you got it. Yeah. You know, not a six five. Not a, it's not a six five. Not a six five. It's not an eight five on a modern book like yeah. the Teen Titans twelve. So we'll right. Take it. So not bad. Not bad. Um, so that's the books that we have for polls. And you know what? For all the things we did. I'm happy that the, the ASM uh, number four came back at 3.5. That was the biggest bump. A little bit disappointed on the Secret Wars. Um, the X-Men books are good. Uh, the 4.5 is for sale. Hit me up. And so that's the books that we have. Dark Side Jedi, I mean, you're in my budget. You can't, you can't, this is a different kitty. Everything's budgeted, man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You got to put the money on. <laughs> to the Auto Chromium focus book. is off. <laughs> uh, autofocus, I got rid of the autofocus. There is no autofocus. I made sure to take that off. So I do have polls. From um, from Baltimore, believe it or not, stuff that I did buy, and I'll just go over them real quick. And lots of spec books. I got a keen eye of Justin. I found two nice copies, or one copy of Kingdom Come, one and two. Great book. We've been talking about this as a spec book. Uh, Twenty-two dollars I paid for this. Nice looking books. I've read the story a bunch of times. I'm gonna keep it. Very happy with it. Picked up. Okay, so. When it comes to books and slabs, I like to buy raw copies first before I buy the slab copy. I like to read it. 
Um, I like to enjoy it, even though I probably can get it a reprint. But I like to have a, like at least a raw copy so I can enjoy it, and then I'll get the slab copy of it, whether or not it's usually a better grade or something like that. So yeah. this was the first time I picked this book up. Uh, this is FF18. We've been talking about this for Super Scrawl. Not a high-grade book at all, but a good price point, good for the personal collection. Uh, I read the stories in a reprint. It's going to my FF collection. I'm not trading it. I'm just going to keep it. And you know what? Maybe in a couple months, I'll look for a graded copy. Not a super high, three, five, five. You know, I'd like it a little higher, but it doesn't need to be that high. We all know that Super Scroll might be coming since the scrolls are out there. Uh, now, this by far is one of my favorite, favorite um, Spider-Man covers. I coveted this book when I was a kid, and I don't know why, because it's really not that expensive. But maybe when you're a kid and it's a $40 book, it was. This is, uh, <laughs> yeah, right? This is Peter Parker, number 27. This is where Daredevil and Spider-Man team up. This is a Frank first time Frank Miller did Spider-Man, nice. and I really think uh, I really think Peter Parker that run is very underrated. You know what I mean? Because you've got great storylines, and I did pick this one up. It's much better than my other copy, so I probably have two or three copies of this. Uh, might be looking for a raw cop or a graded copy if I do. I'd like it around the nine two. Don't need it in a nine eight, but definitely would like to have it in a slab. Am I getting killed in the comments? No, okay. Tio says Super Scroll may already be in the MCU. Oh, you just right. don't know. Yeah. Um, another book I picked up that I'm just another book we spec on is FF64. We all know the cover. We all know the story. One book to have. Now I've been after this book for a while, and I'm happy that I found it from JNS Collectibles. Now I'll go after a graded copy. So my first Werewolf by Night 32 is a 7 0. I'm after a second appearance, but the second appearance has been rising. So I picked up a raw copy of Werewolf by Night 33, and it's just a really cool book. So if I'm linear, and that's the way my mind works, I'll go after a, um, an FF uh, Werewolf by Night 33 for 7 0. So cool book to have, first and second appearance, because the first appearance is just creeping up, and yeah. we, can, we always see that, you know, the second, appearance second appearances following. are following, right? And then the last, um, okay, two of the last books. Three of the last books. Three of the last books. <laughs> FF-129. Two times. Comic? Multiple, multiple comics. Comic. It's not Monday. We, yeah, I know. We talked about this on Lords. We talked about her showing up as the uh, villain in She-Hulk. And I just found two good copies, so I was happy to get them. So definitely pick those up. And then the last book. This is a pretty high-grade book. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I got all those books. Yeah. What am I going to keep them? This is the first time. Buy a bigger house. I uh, really. So this is, a, this is a cool book because this is the first time Daredevil and Black Widow hooked up. Uh, another Lord's uh, storyline that we talked about where uh, Daredevil, will, Charlie Cox, will be introduced in, um, in Black Widow. And this is the first time that they met up. This is Daredevil number 81. Very cool book. It's got three stories in it. Fun fact about it is that it's a square bound book. So it doesn't have the rounded cover. So pressing it might be a little more difficult. 25 cents, but the first time Daredevil and Black Widow hook up. And nice. They had a little thing thing going. Really? Dare, uh, Black Widow got around. After she left Hawkeye, she moved to San Francisco. Oh, yeah. She got it in with the blonde, law, blonde, blonde, uh, blind lawyer. Can't, can't turn so, it on. No. So those are all the books we got. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about uh, a few things that we got going on. So while we were at – so we met uh, Rags. We met all the guys from the Comic Book Fiend Club. We met – all the guys from the comic core is just really, really cool. Best bunch of guys that we didn't even know. But all of a sudden, we're sitting at this bar, bar restaurant, tap house, have a beer across the street. And Justin and I are sitting at the bar, and we get a, a image or a, a video or a text message from the Dark Lord himself, TiVo. And he said something to the effect of, dudes are like, turn around or something like that. Because it's a picture of us facing the bar, right? So somebody's sitting behind us, and I don't know who it was. So I turned around, and the minute I realized who it was, I was really excited because both of these guys are from the West Coast. So it was Rocky Comics, okay, and it was the Big To Do, Mike. Oh, nice. So you know, TiVo speaks very, very highly of the Big To Do about his collection. Um, our guys, our boys from Rocky Comics, was really, really cool. We've been talking to him today. We're looking to do something with him. Well, they did so, take your picture and send it to TiVo. Yeah, That's yeah, funny. because we had a three better than a picture. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So that was that was a pretty good kicker, and. Uh, so we ended up talking to them, and I looked at the big to-do. I'm like, Mike, do you collect comics? Like, I know you're a dealer, but some some guys don't really mess with, you know what I mean? He goes, of course. You know, he told me a little about his collection, uh, about the books that he has. Rocket told me, too. You know, the AF-15s, the Batman, stuff like that. So they got great books. 
And I guess what I didn't realize was even for these big vendors like Rocket Comics and like Baltimore is a big show. Why Terrificon isn't at that level? I don't know. You know, um, so I couldn't tell you. I'm trying to get them to go up there, yeah, but maybe, maybe it's maybe outside grading. Yeah, maybe they'll get there because we can't. Now with the bigger venue, you know. Yeah. So here's a picture of us, uh, me, Justin, Mike, the big to do. We got Rocket Comics back there, and this is Greg Land. Yeah, the X Men artist. And Greg Land is That's a fun. big, big. Dude. Was he just there by himself? They were having said... dinner together. So okay. uh, Mike and those guys were having dinner with Greg. Uh, didn't get a signature from Greg. I wish I did. But in talking to him, he's from Florida. Had a great conversation. He's definitely coming up. Definitely did some great X Men stuff. So seeing those guys was the biggest surprise of the trip. Um, so good stuff. Yeah. So we'll move Sorry, away. From, I missed it. We'll move away from this. We got some bad news on the TV show side. Your oh, show. Oh my god. Cloak and Dagger canceled. Yep. I, I don't know what to say. I, I thought it was a great show, unless it's gonna pop up on another streaming service or I mean all these shows that are getting canceled are gonna have to pop up somewhere. Because right. they weren't all bad. They weren't all bad, right? They weren't. No, they weren't. Cloak and Dagger was awesome. Cloak and Dagger I was really it. good. I loved right. it. Right. Um, right now you're watching Titans. Titans. How yes. far are you into it? I'm I'm up to date except for yesterday. Okay, good. So, so am I. No spoilers, but who's your favorite character right now? Second season. Um, I. This is a loaded question because I yeah, know mine. You, oh, you, know oh, you want to know mine? You want to tell you my favorite characters right now? Crypto. Crypto. Okay. Crypto is awesome. I, mean, I, I didn't want to say I didn't. Yeah, I didn't want to because they've only been in a couple of episodes, so I didn't want to take the easy in and say Connor. Um, yeah, yeah, Superboy, uh, Superboy, Super yeah. Connor, right? Okay, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to go there because it was because he's only been in a couple, couple but he's shows. cool the way he's but I, 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 you know, I, I really love Hawk, dude. Do you really? Yeah, he's yeah. he's such an ass, <laughs> 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 and he's just like really, I love the. The, the, his interaction with the other people, like he's just on there, like, what are you an ass? Like, right. that's how he talks to right. people. Big I, football I, player. Yeah, I love that. Recovering addict. Yes, like, I, I love that. Not afraid to throw it all on the table. I love that. But God, she is beautiful. Mika Kelly is really she's hot. Beautiful. So, yeah, absolutely. So she's killing it as Hawk, uh, killing it as Hawk and Dove. Uh, Donna Troy is just fantastic. Um, you know, the Aqualad, having yeah. Aqualad come up without telling you everything that happened, the Aqualad stuff was good. Now, the death stroke. Last night, and I, I understand that you don't like that costume. Right. Okay. And there might be people in the live chat who don't like it also, and I understand that. But after seeing last night's episode, I accept the costume. Okay. And it was pretty cool. Because up okay. to now, you just kind of know he's there. Right. There's no, like, you don't really see him. Correct. You don't see him in action. Yep. You see the the, the flashback, flashback with Aqualad. Yep. And you know you see him as a person Correct. and his handler. Yep. But you haven't really seen him in the suit in action. So... Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Caught it. Oh boy. Caught good, it. Good. Good. All right. So who do we got in the live chat right now? Stay puff. Stay David puff. Our boy. Kilo, Dark Side Jedi. Alex Perez. Look at all these Bobby's guys hanging out with news. us on, a, on a Saturday night. Cloak and Dagger will be back. It's Jedi said it's true. Okay. Um. So we're Deathstroke fans. Yes. Okay. So you're buying it. Do you like the story that they're giving him? I I do. I okay. mean, I mean, it, it, there's not a hell of a lot of story there. Right. I mean, it's kind of cryptic at the at the moment. Yep. Maybe the, maybe that clears up on last night's episode, which yeah. I haven't watched yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah, the yeah. whole his son and the record and yeah. All you know, you see. Uh, I'm trying not to spoil it. I know. I know. A couple, I know, see, I know, a couple I know, episodes ago, where you right. see, you know, uh, Robin's eyes flicker and something. Mess in his head. Deathstroke got to him. Yeah, somehow. With Jason Todd. Okay. Jason Todd. Jason Todd. Yeah, somehow, yeah. He's definitely brainwashed. So, yeah, brainwashed, yep. and then he's messing with the other people. So you could see the, the you know that real Deathstroke yep. story coming out. Right. So, so Winter Green is Deathstroke, kind of like Handler, his main man, is like his Alfred. Yeah. Just a really cool character. I like the way they're doing it with that. Um. So you know what? I need you to do something right now, if you don't mind. Okay. Can you get that Hulk one eighty, uh, guys? I, I forgot about my biggest deal from Baltimore. I'm sorry. I got to tell you what what deal went down because it's about commerce and it's about trade and it's about making the deal that you have. And I can't believe I waited um, this long to tell you this. So you guys know I'm linear. Before Baltimore came on, I told you I was going after a Hulk 180 9.2 to match the Hulk 181 9.2. So I went with my 180, which was a 6.5. 
I went with my 182, which was a 9.4, and I brought my FF50, uh, which was a 7.5, to try to trade down to a 5.5 five to get 48, 49 to 50 altogether. So I'm there. I'm looking through boxes, but I don't have the time. Like I don't have the patience to dig through the boxes and to look through all the slabs. If it's not up on the wall, which I thought this book would be, then I don't have it. So I'm about to pull the trigger on an ASM annual number one for $700. Guy had it for eight. It was a three, five ASM annual one. Okay. That book is only going up. It's not going down. Three, five is a great, great Slab? for that book. Slabbed. First that's appearance great. of the Sinister, Sinister Six. Six. Yep. Yeah, that's great. First appearance of Sinister Six. A great grade to have for that S book. 700 yet? So he had it for eight, but he said, I'm, I'll be doing it for seven, so I'll flip it. I said, okay. It's a guy that actually you bought books from at Terrificon. Uh, I forgot what his name was, but Justin gave him a shout out last night. Okay. So just a guy that definitely remembered Three Men in a Basement. Um, and I was ready to pull the trigger, and I was sitting there talking. And all of a sudden, Justin calls me, and he's like, stand out in the aisle. He's like, what aisle are you in? I'm like, aisle 400. He goes, stand out. So he goes, take a left and walk to me. So I'm walking towards him, and he goes, do you need this? And he pulls up this book. <laughs> now, it was in one of the dealer's long boxes, just like this. And I'm like, holy shit, here it is. So what am I going to do? Price point of 1500 bucks. okay? Now, the guy was a cool guy. I don't have his card. He was from the Baltimore area. So I pull out my 180.65, my 182.94, and I said, where are we at in between this, okay, like what can we do? He was definitely interested in a trade, um, so that was good, plus cash. And we were around, like, I, 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 I'm sorry, you guys, I did low ball, I threw out a 500 number, you know what I mean? Which, but I had 700 to play, maybe eight, but I was in that area, so I threw out five, and he's like, We're not in that area right now, we're not, okay. And I said, Okay, so I walked away, so I walk away, and I'm like, All right, do I go for eight? What if you went back and it was gone? Yes. Yes. What's the matter with you? I understand this, and that's the problem. That's the problem. I, and I, when are you going to find this again? Exactly. <laughs> but thank you for saying that, because that's what I went through my head, too. That's what went through my head. What a meatball. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's like meeting so, uh, Jimmy Superfly Snicker. Yes, exactly. Tell us you want to tell that story. Yeah, terrific. So, God. I'm like, Jimmy Superfly Snicker, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Big, long line. You want to meet him? I'll come back later. Come back later, he's gone. Gone. Dead what? A month later? A month later, a month dead. later died. Jimmy Snooker Hooper flies. You got it. Right. So anyway, so I agree with you. But I realized, I'm like, all right, hey, I still have this FF. I still have this FF on me. Now, the fun part about cons is, and I think you'll agree, and I think everybody in the live chat will too, you're going there. If you go to upgrade your books, you're going there with equity, right? You're going there with equity. You're going with something to flip. You know, sometimes the lower grade books are better for the dealers because they're more at, at somebody's price point, right? You know, this is a nice. Tivo's asking a uh, Hulk 181 6.5 is worth less than this. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Tim. It it's was not a, a 181. No, it was a Hulk 180. It was my copy. So I had right. all three. I apologize if I said it wrong. Same book, just at a lower grade. At a lower grade. Yeah. So I had the 6.5, but the 6.5 was not linear to the 9.2. Right. Okay. So that's what I was trying to do. I apologize if I got a little tongue tied because I should have had this book out, but I didn't. Um, so, but I'm walking around. I'm like, wait a minute. I still got the FF book. So let me go back. And I'm like, hey, what's up? And he's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I got this too. And well, what do you want to do with it? And he happened to be talking about to this guy, Al, who Al was at Terrificon. He was staying on our floor. He was one of the guys that we asked to come in our show. Uh -huh. And he couldn't because he lost his voice. But he's like, hey, I remember you three men in the basement. Now, his the buddy that I was trying to broker the deal with, you could tell it wasn't really a – he didn't enjoy the wheel and the dealing. Yeah. But Al did. So Al's like, well, what are you trying to do? And I'm like, well, the 7-5. I got this. I'm, uh, you know, I was at five. He was at seven. You know, now I'm back at four. So after a little bit, you know what I mean? For three hundred bucks, the seven five, the case was cracked, and it was an old case. Um, so he would have to do that. And so I just said, "Look, man, just give me three hundred bucks. I'll give you five hundred now. Credit me three hundred for this. I'll give you the five hundred, and we'll walk away. We'll call it good." Al looked at his buddy. What do you think? Deal done. Handshake. I walked off. Nice. So the art of the deal was done. Um, I walked back with this. Now I don't have. So you gave him three books. I gave him three books and five hundred dollars. Five hundred bucks. Yep, for this. For this. Okay. That's so cool. now this this is over. So nice. Other than getting the nine, the one eighty two nine two, which isn't an expensive book, and I'm not in a hurry to get that because really it's Hulk one eighty one eighty one. Well, because it, 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 it has to do with the little story arc. The story arc ends and a new story arc starts. Um, so it's like the three issue thing. You know what I mean? So, but again, so that though I pulled the trigger on that. I'm happy that was the biggest deal of the trip. 
Nice. And I'm happy that I have it. That's the first right? time I heard that story. So yeah, it was a good yeah, story. Yeah. It was a good story. Um, I do have the signatures. I went and got lots of signatures on the Christmas card. So shout out to everybody. If you want a Christmas card, let me know. I had Walt Simonson do a sketch and uh, had a great time with Walt Simonson. Never met him before, but just a really classy guy, right? Really classy guy. You want to hear a good story? Yeah. I'll tell you a good story. I'll always tell you. I'll as long as it's a good story. It's a good story. It's a good story. I mean, so Walt, um, I didn't realize that Walt does sketches, but he only does a certain number of sketches. So I got to Saturday show real early and I was hanging around the booth and all these like VIP started rolling in. Although we had press passes, I didn't have VIP status. So I was in that area. So the VIP start hanging around and some handler comes over and says, hey, Walt is going to be here, but we can only have 15 people in this line. Everybody else has to go over there to an area where everybody's conjugating. So I just happened to be one of those other people. So I went over. So Walt was fashionably late. He was with his wife, Louise, Wheezy as they call her, and they gave him a big round of applause. You know, so he sees 15 people and then I was number like 19 in line. Number 16, 17, and 18 go over to see what he has to say, right? And they and Walt is a little bit overwhelmed. And he says, I can only do 15 sketches. So those four guys come up and say, he's only doing 15 sketches. Let's go somewhere else. So they grab, you want to grab that sketch right there? So they grab their stuff and they leave. So now Otto is number 16. And I'm with another family behind me. And I'm like, all right, I'm number 16. Still not, you know, I'm still not 15. So then Walt comes over and you know what? We always talk about it doesn't hurt to be nice to people. So Walt, how are you? It's good to see you. I'm a huge fan. I said, I've been here for 45 minutes. Is there any chance I can get a sketch? Laying on the gas. Uh, I was laying on the gas big time. The auto gas. The auto gas was it's going. It's a work of art. If yep. you guys have never seen it live, yep. it's it's amazing. But you know what? Guess what <laughs> I've, I got? I've gotten some stuff. <laughs> yeah. So guess what I got? got number sketch. 16. Yeah. I got number 16. The four people behind me got 67 to 18. So we did 20 more. So he actually did a total of 20. He writes your name on your fingernail, believe it or not. Really bizarre. Like he writes on your fingernail. So I, he was like, just come back later. So I went. I enjoyed the con. I found when it was what, like. Wait, what did he write? He wrote fingernail? number 16. Oh, the number the on number your fingernail. The number 16 on my fingernail, right? Yeah. And I was going to put on IG, but you don't want my hands on IG. No, man. I got some butts. No, you got some so, hands. Uh, so he writes it on it, number 16. So I obviously, and I was very conscious of like sanitizing and eating lunch, stuff like that. So I didn't want to lose the 16. So I went back. And I have this Spider-Man letterhead. Still have the number on there? No, no, I didn't wash it. <laughs> so I went back and I have the Spider-Man letterhead that I've talked about with you guys for a while that came from the Marvel offices. And Walt did a sketch for me. So for free. So for uh, free. For really? free. For free. Absolutely for free. To the Hillmans. To the Hillmans. To the Hillmans. All my best. Uh Walt. And then I had Wheezy sign it right there. And Wheezy. this Wheezy. is really, Wheezy. This is my first head sketch. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited for it. She moving on up. Yeah. So pretty excited for it. So that is the culmination of the Baltimore Con. I ate it up. I felt like I got a lot of it. It was a small so show. A lot of people looking for Christmas cards. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. You got to hit us up. But more importantly, you got to sub up to get Christmas cards, right? You want a Christmas card? Sub up. Say Christmas card, new sub, and who you are, and I'll get those here. We're still hunting for 900. We're at like 856. I got tons of stuff to give away. We have the 900 sub. We're going to have a huge 1,000 sub oh, party. Oh, subscriber, forget it. I'm telling we you. We're going to get... be giving shit away. Right. Absolutely. Stuff that CGC pissed me off about. We're yep. giving away. Dude, just get us to 1,000, man, and we're going to have a blast. But that's our goal. And again, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Um, we've talked about that from day one. We've been yeah, enjoying it. we can't it. a sprint. No, we definitely can't. No, even, definitely... even though you're a new skinny. Yeah, yeah. We, definitely, you know, we, know, we no, still no, can't sprint. There's no sprint going on here. So, um, so yeah. So, Titans we're loving. We're no, upset Titans. about... Um, we're Cloak, and about Cloak and Dagger. Movies were okay. You haven't seen a Joker yet. I haven't seen a Joker yet. I'm yeah, hoping to I go have tomorrow. Okay. There you go. Good day to go see it. Um, All right. Um, I took I took Everett. Day. So I don't know if you're gonna take Bubba to go see it or if he has any interest. But it was a lot of fun. It was good. It was yep. okay. There was no uh it was good enough for him. Like I didn't have to tell Everett be like, hey, dude, whatever. Uh Dark Side Jedi said he saw it for the second time today. So I'm curious to see what he saw with that. You know what else I'm loving? Yeah, Bad Woman. Batwoman. Tell Love me about it. I've only watched Love the first Batwoman. episode. I don't know what it is. Yep. Um, I know she's playing for the other team, but she's hot. Yeah, okay. And the storyline is pretty neat. I don't know much about Batwoman or the story of uh, Bruce Wayne disappearing or anything like that. But right. so far, first three episodes have been pretty cool. So three I've episodes been, in? Yeah, three okay. episodes right. in. Three episodes I've, in. I've, I've, I've much enjoyed it. So. Okay. All right. Good. I'll take that. I'm definitely going to check it out. Uh, Black Lightning, you watching that anymore? 
I I have them on record. You do? Okay. Yeah, it's, the problem is it's another one of those shows where it just got bananas. Okay. Same damn villain. It's the it's like a story takes an entire season to go over. Right. I can tell you're like, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm just done with it because you know what? If you have to go through an entire season with the same villain and the same story and it draws you in and yeah. if you can't wait till the next one, it's one yeah. thing. Right. When you're like, you're watching it, you oh, not this again. Yeah. It's just, okay. it's the same thing with, uh, with the, uh, the, uh, oh, what's the other show that was on, um, flash arrow. Oh. No, the other one with all the different, uh, the, the um, Legends of Tomorrow. Legends. The Legends. You don't yeah, like it right now? I mean, come on. I mean, really like unicorns and just like fantasy <laughs> monsters. It's just, they, they just went in a completely strange direction. Okay. Which, so, I, you know, and then two seasons ago, I gave up on Arrow because I was tired of the whole Team right. Arrow. Yeah, and, but they're saying Arrow right now. Yeah, of course, because I stopped watching yeah, Of course, it. of course. You know, but I still watch Flash. I still watch Supergirl. So I'm... I, I'm gonna to have to record all those other shows to make sure I get the crossover. Yes, right. Okay, the crossover, which is and that's happening when uh, we, soon. You know, TiVo, uh, Manimal, and Justin have been talking about it, building up to it. So, TiVo, you're in the chat. <laughs> when is? <laughs> yeah, it's straight comedy legends. Yeah, you're right. It's just, just they're trying to be funny, and it's just not working. The legend show. Yeah, for Beans House, they should just uh, fire uh, Batwoman into space. All right, all right. Oh, wait, then, hold on a second. Ben, Ben DM'd me the other day, or the other day asking me a question. It, he is he was specking out a big book. Did you close your book today, buddy? That's a question for Ben. Uh -huh. So let's a uh, man from Beantown. Ben DM'd me. Yeah. Said, hey man, I got a I got one of my grails. I got a line on one of my grails. He'd have to trade a lot of Silver Age keys, uh, but he said he was making a deal today. So Ben, I'm putting you on a spot, man. Did you make the deal? And we're waiting. We're waiting. Dave in a cave. Our, shout out to our boy Nemesis Prime who's celebrating his wedding anniversary. I uh, couldn't make it tonight, but you know what? That stuff takes precedence. So Matt Force says he's got Watchmen on his DV, DVR. So I was so. <laughs> okay, hold on. So someone told me that that Watchmen was good. Okay. You know, or it, it's got like I'm not kind of sure. So I was going to check it out. I never saw the movie. So uh, a guy I work with told me that it's a continuation. So you got to see the movie before you see the show. Yeah. I tried to watch the movie last night. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty sure I would rather watch Paint Dry. No, it's a guy. I, I fell movie. asleep. I got, I don't even know if I was a quarter away, half away. The time seemed like it stood still. Okay. And it was just like, it was, I don't know. It was like watching a soap opera. Nothing ever happened. Like you're thinking, all right, the next scene, they're going to fight your son. Not, I don't know. Maybe the last half of the movie is better. Yeah. Maybe I'll try to rewatch it when I'm, you know, it's not midnight. Right, right, right. See right. if I can keep my eyes open. But if the TV show on HBO is anything like that all movie, right. I'm not quite Anybody sure. Anybody watch, uh, uh, yeah, with Roger Washman. Really? Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't really care for the movie back in the day. I'm not a, I didn't like the story arc. I don't know. But just my kind of style. So, uh, most overrated comic. Oh, Ryan's yeah. throwing it out there. Yeah, there yeah. He's very he's angry. Throwing it out there. He doesn't yeah. like Batwoman either. So, yeah. someone's firing Batwoman into this into space. Right. It's not so, very nice. <laughs> no, that was Ben. So, Ben didn't go across the deal. Ben didn't make the deal. Ben, that's okay. You know why? Because other deals will come up. Yeah. You'll find that book again. Um, you hope. Yeah. So, you'll, you'll definitely get another deal and stuff like that. So, we're going to kind of pull this all together. We've done our CGC unboxing. I want to give a shout out to a few people. I want to give a shout out to uh, Brandon from Keynote Comics. He was a new sub for us. I checked out his story. Uh, they do unboxings where I don't think they know the grade on that. So shout out to Keynote Comics. Shout out to uh, the Big To Do Rocket Comics. Shout out to everybody from the Comic Book Fiend Club, from uh, the Comic Core that we hooked up with. Uh, shout out to all my brothers at Lords of the Long Box. We've been killing it. Manimal's been jumping out with us. We've just been having a good time right now, right? Yeah. You had some books, though, that you had a – just to close off, you got some stuff from uh, – what did you get? New York Comic Con. New York yeah. Comic Con, right? I did. I didn't bring them. I forgot. But it, to continue on to my ASM 300 cover swipe collection, um, I pre-ordered Billy Tucci's Shy. Yes. And those were that was a ASM 300 cover swipe. I'm a little irritated that they came back. Corners a little nicked. So I'm not going to bother submitting them. Um New York Comic Con exclusive was uh, Vampirella. Yep. Vampirella. Right. Yeah, Vampirella. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, ASM 300 cover swipe. Thanks to Nemesis Prime for hooking me up with that, buying that for me. And he also found another, just, you know, out of the woodworks 
like comic, right. some sort of private comic. That I don't even remember the name. Okay, that was also an ASM three hundred cover swipe. So I think I'm up over sixty now. So. Sixty of them. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. And that's when we talk about collections. So like right now we're doing a collector series on Lords of the Long Box. That's what Roger's collection is all about. You know, it's a lot of. I mean, Spider Man. You get your you get your books stuff like that. But you're really like now people are like DMing you, right? Like yeah. they know. That yeah. That's what so you're I'll be like, hey, do you have this book? And it'll be a cover swipe, and it's like. I really got to then once you get up to the 50 60 it's like shit I don't know if I have you got to look like you got to like, figure it out Justin's great for that Justin will be at a con or at his local LCS it's like do you need this it's like oh crap I don't know <laughs> <laughs> let me look, I'm, let I'm me almost look. at the point where like just get it I don't right. know I'm not sure just right. get it and if I have to double out you know whatever right absolutely <laughs> so Bernie 1869 couldn't join us tonight but he's been on the hunt also so we're going on we're just hitting an hour we like to keep it around an hour so we're going to wrap it up, man. A lot of fun. Lots of CGC David books. McCabe, I will be doing an ASM 300 video. I just got to get it all filed now. I, I bought quite a few in the last year, and they're not filed into my okay. like one box for them. But yep. Once I get all that figured out, and there's a couple that I want to get before I do the video okay. that are up in price. Right. Well, nice, I will nice. Do. All right. So I do have another CGC submission, which I don't think I'm going to get back before Christmas, to be honest with you. I mean, those were all... Other books that I said didn't, didn't do the on-site grading because it was so pricey. But, um, yeah, it's been a great show. Sub us up. Uh, Nemesis Prime has been killing it. He's been showing a lot of videos. We've got some videos. I've got some videos that I took from Baltimore. Great artist I met named Corey Smith. I've got some behind-the-scenes videos. So when I got time to chop that up, I'll upload that. Remember, we're on our road to 900. Yeah. I got stuff from the Geeky Swag Shop that I want to give away. It's been absolutely awesome. Uh, Lords of the Long Box have been killing it, like I said, for the third time. Just been killing it with all the shows. Dark Side Jedi is going to make his comeback. And coming in the new year. Yep. We'll bring him back. The hip hop spotlight. Hip hop spotlight. Right. And we feel that there's a need for that. Yes, I do. There definitely I started is a need off for that. at the beginning. I've got over 100 hip hop variants. Yep. And we're going to go through starting from the beginning of hip hop, bringing it up through throughout the modern hip hop yep. covers and uh, maybe, you know, 10, 15 minute clips at a time yeah. and send them out there and see what um, we got for See them. what we get. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Um, I do have some special guest lines up. I have reached out to some heavy hitters to see if they'd love to join us here in a grotto. They all replied yes. But again, we all have busy schedules. It all It is a very busy time for all of us as we're getting into the holidays. But again, so sub us up, like us, share us. Um, on behalf of Lords of the Longbox, TiVo, Dark Side Jedi, on behalf of myself, Everett Hillman, Everett Otto, Roger Levesque, Birdie1869, Nemesis Prime, David in a cave. David in a cave, man. We are three men in the basement, and we are out. Peace. Peace, Thanks everybody. Go Blue! Oh.